Ever heard of your Filipino neighbor belting out a tune at midnight? Filipinos love to sing. They sing almost everywhere and for all kinds of reasons. Though not everyone can really sing well and some can be a little tone deaf too. Still, for many Filipinos, singing isn't just a mere hobby, it is a way of life. With more than 270,000 Filipino expatriates in Qatar and about 2 million Filipino workers across the Gulf region, chances are your Filipino neighbor or co-worker could also be a singer. Amy Linsano, who has been living in Qatar since 2002, is among the pioneers in the local music scene here, particularly among the Filipino and expatriate communities. She used to sing every day, performing in front of thousands of people during concerts held in various venues in Qatar while working full-time as an administrative professional during the day. My passion nation first started with Julia Andrews, actually. Let's start at the very beginning. According to the ethnic groups of the Philippines, the Filipinos' passion for singing is legendary. For the longest time now, singing has been the average Filipino's therapy against stress. In fact, Filipinos' love for singing took root centuries ago, long before karaoke machines were invented, when after a long, exhausting day in the fields, farmers would gather around to relax and sing with a guitar which was brought to the Philippines during the Spanish colonization. Singing is also a powerful therapy. According to a research titled Singing for Health, published in 2002, singing is particularly beneficial for improving breathing, posture, and muscle tension. Singing has also been shown to improve one's happiness and well-being. A study conducted on Choral Singing 2000 showed that music plays a role in sustaining a healthy immune system by reducing the stress hormone cortisol and boosting the immunoglobin A antibody. In the Gulf region, Filipino music events are massive. About 8,000 people attended this Eid concert in Doha recently, which was headlined by two of the Philippines' top music icons Bamboo and Sarah G. Presented by Visit Qatar and organized by Kabayan Radio, the first and only Filipino radio station in Qatar, the concert made history as it was the first time for both Philippine music legends to perform together in a concert tour outside the Philippines. After kicking off their first international concert tour in Doha, Bamboo and Saraji also performed in Dubai in front of almost 17,000 attendees. According to Kabayan Radio's consultant Rezi Foss, there is no shortage of Philippine music events in the region. In Qatar alone, as many as four major concert events featuring top music artists from the Philippines are organized in the country each year. In addition to the many other regular performances held by local Filipino bands across Doha. Today, Amy has embraced a much slower pace of living and has only been singing in private gatherings. However, she has already passed her love and talent for singing onto her 8-year-old son, who can now also sing in Japanese. <laughs>